Hey, so I just quickly wanted to talk through uh, my user story worksheet and how I use it. Um, you can see here I have a template, make a dupe. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it. Now, this there's um, two columns, the title and the description, which eventually get sucked into GitLab. And these columns, you can see I made the font really small, are essentially concatenating the meat of everything that over happens over here in the stories. Um, but when I'm writing issues, when I'm drafting, I always hide this column B so that it's just easier to work on the issue. It's not as long and unwieldy. Um, and the first thing that I do, I don't think about any of these other, these categorization fields, like you can get them out of the way in terms of hiding them um, while I'm working. I'll probably actually, like I could actually hide everything here just for simplicity if I'm chatting with this with a designer. Um, and so the main things that I would focus on during drafting or writing the user stories is uh, the, the situation I'm in and the feature. And this would just be starting like a draft. So you can see here, this is about attaching designs to an issue. Um, if we were thinking through this whole process, I would be thinking through CRUD, like I wanna edit, a design on an issue. I want to delete a design from an issue. And this could be from the story mapping or other data you have when you're going through this. Um, I want to sort, or I could say reorder a design on an issue. And then I'd be thinking through from story mapping as well as getting um, these fields copied down um, around the when, so like when I notice a design needs or is up, um, is wrong, I want to edit the design on an issue so that I can upload the correct one. Um, and that's how, this is just my process. So I really start with listing these. These are the things the person wants. It's the I want to, it's the feature essentially. And then building through the motivation. You might start with motivation and go to expected outcomes. Ideally the outcome, that's really what they're trying to get to. So going in this way, we can iterate here. So you end up with a list of, I'll just delete these ones, a list of fully fledged issues. I'm just gonna copy these down for this video right here. Um, and you'd be doing this with whoever's working with you. For me right now, it's product designer and we're going through, or UX researcher, we're going through research. But you can just be drafting your issues. Then you have the ability also to easily reorder these um, as you're thinking through and you find new things that might fit in this whole flow. Um, I'm just gonna make sure these are filled in. So that's, even though these are not correct. Um, for me, at this point, you could go and import into GitLab, but the other thing I like to talk through with my designer is um, what screens would get, get us here. So when we're reordering the design on an issue, I'm just gonna copy the format down. He might say um, on the view design page, um, like reorder button, like just, he would talk, like write through all the things that we would need to complete that. And these get concatenated into the issue as to do's in their own section. So he can check those off while he's getting the designs uploaded. Um, the next step for me is I am particular about this, but I write titles that go from the UI object, like the design to the action. So all of these start with the designs and then this one, is reorder. This one is edit the design. And this is me just taking the gist of what's in the story and putting it in this format. So when I'm scanning down through all my issues, it's very clear what these things are from their title. Uh, delete the design. Um, and you don't have to do this either. You can, you could put your story here. Stories get crazy in titles from what I've found, but you can do your title however you want. Um, 
and yeah, then the next part for me, if, if it's all in one epic, I can fill the epics down. Um, issue ID doesn't really work. We can't edit current issues. So that's um, not necessary. I'm just gonna unhide these columns. Um, and these are these ones are just doing the work, so they're you can fill them down. Um, they're just going to start bringing everything together. Um, you could fill the milestones down across these. So I've got twelve six on all of these, or beyond twelve six now, but just as the example. And then I would fill down these uh, black columns at the end where it's uh, doing the work. So I'll just get those pulled up. It's kind of hard. It gets unwieldy when you get um, tons of stuff concatenating with line breaks. It gets hard to manage from a, I'm just gonna go down three. So those are all filled down. And then um, similarly for me, all of these are workflow designed to start. You can put them into any workflow label and I'm just gonna fill the purple ones down too. And then, um, the big one on the side is, I'm just gonna unhide these. This is the meat of the issue, so I'm gonna fill it down. There goes one. It's really hard doing this on a laptop screen. I suggest being on your big screen for this. So I've got that filled down. So now across the board, I should have everything in for these four issues. Everything's concatenated. I'm just gonna zoom out even more just to double check. Um, I'll just copy down the UX screens. So now I've got, these ones are ready for import. I'm just gonna delete. Um, and so from here, I can go file, download um, the CSV. And so I usually do that. Um, for me, I open it up in numbers. You can use Excel. This is because the way, when you import issues, and you can see here the user story, this is similar to the template you get when you open a new feature. But at the bottom, it's done the work of concatenating on the labels and things you created. It's added in this section. So I've got a clean title and description here. And then I just kill off all of these columns because they are actually not uh, delete selected columns. They're not useful when you try to import currently the way it works. So you can't filter to just title and description. So I, I would just save it here. Um, I'll just save it and I can like re-export to CSV or however as an upload. I'm gonna put this to my desktop. And then you've got the file there waiting to go with your title and description right here that you can go over into GitLab and add. Should have had GitLab open here. Sorry, I'm gonna just jump through here. Um, okay, I'm gonna test project. my test project, I'm gonna go into my issue list and I write here, import CSV, choose file. Open, let's hope this works. Yep, so once you're finished, you get a confirmation email. Let's see if I get it. So we got them all, they're imported. I can refresh here. There they are, I'm gonna open them up. Boom, we are good to go. We've got checkable UX screens. We've got our story, we've got our core. So that's it, hopefully that made sense. Um, feel free to ask me any questions around using that sheet. Thanks.